Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena Ray, and today I have a Trader Joe's haul for you. A massive Trader Joe's haul. Um, got a lot of crap I didn't need, but needed at the same time, or wanted at least. So I'll start off by showing you guys my stickers that they gave me. They're so cute, they're for Valentine's Day. I think I already got some of these the last time I went to Trader Joe's, but they're literally so cute. Yeah, because I remember the we're meant to be in the year my jam. But I got some more of these. And then I got some cards, some Valentine's Day cards. So I'm gonna send these out to some people. And then got some more. And it's such a big haul, I think I'm just gonna put the prices on the screen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> but yeah, these are the other Valentine's Day cards, so cute. And yeah, let's get started with the good stuff. So, the first thing I have is the Apple Mango Fruit Sauce Crushes. I used to get these all the time and I haven't in a few months, but I absolutely love these. They're so good and just a good snack on the go or even at home. So I got some of those. And then I got some of these onion rings. Raven really likes these. They're called sour cream and onion rings, lentil and rice snacks. These are actually really good. And they're only 340 colors for this entire container. That's pretty good, I think. And then I got some of the sweet and deliciously fruity gummy candies. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Got a lot of like snacky things this Trader Joe's trip. And I've never tried these before. They're the Dolma's uh, vine leaves stuffed with rice. There we go. And I've never tried those, but I'm excited too. And then I picked up one of these to try. They're the marinated artichokes on the go. I told you guys my aunt got these the last time. And I decided to pick one up. I'll try those tonight. I might as well try it right now. I'm nervous. Ooh, they smell freaking delicious. Are you, do you chew the whole thing or is it like how you, you scrape the meat out? Mmm. They're tangy. Yummy. Mmm. That's delicious. It's very limey. Mm, distilled vinegar is the second ingredient. But those are good. I'm going to pick those up again the next time I go. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the outer part because that was kind of hard to chew. But still very good. And then I got some chives. I like to put these in my eggs in the morning or whenever I eat eggs. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the morning. Sorry if the lighting is off, it's dark, so I'm trying to use all the artificial lighting that I can. And then I got some onion and chive cream cheese, staple, so good. And then I got three of these heavy whipping creams, the shelf stable kind. Or they're not heavy whipping cream, it just says whipping cream. And I got three of these, just because I go through a lot of um, heavy cream, so thought it'd be good to have on hand and then I got a block of this New Zealand organic cheddar cheese and it was only 450 for this entire block not very thick but still that's a good little chunk of cheese and then I got a container of sour cream and then 
some gochujang because I plan on doing a gochujang garlic and green onion um, sourdough bread. I think that's gonna be really good. I've seen a few, a few people do it, so I'm gonna try it. And then I got some tzatziki, which is always so, so, so good. Of course, I had to pick up some, why is it sticky? Some orange peach mango juice. This is so, so, so dang good. It's really good with like tequila and stuff. Don't tell anybody I said that. But if you wanna turn it into a little fun drink, that's really good. And then another staple, blueberries and cream yogurt. And then just the vanilla and cream one. And then in the next bag, what do we have? I got some spinach tortellini. Because I'm gonna make a, that tortellini um, tomato like soup with sausage and stuff. And then I got a mirepoix. And this is for a chicken pot pie that I'm gonna make. So why buy the regular vegetables when I can just buy this thing or why buy them individually when I can just buy that and be done in one go and then I got some hash browns I love Trader Joe's hash browns they're so good I just pop them in either the air fryer or the toaster either one works and they turn out so crispy and good and this is something that I haven't gotten from Trader Joe's in a long time simply because I just I like it when it's in this fillet like this and this is a fresh Atlantic salmon boneless fillet so I got one of these. I absolutely love salmon. It's like one of my favorite fishes. And then I got two of the beef bedias. So, so, so good. And so easy to make. And these come with a lot of meat. And if you ever want to see uh, if you're getting like your money's worth, just pull the package back and you can see how much meat it has. These have a lot of meat. The last one that I made, I was able to make like six tacos and a burrito or an, and a quesadilla out of that one package for seven bucks that's a steal and then i got some stir fried garlicky cabbage my mom told me to get this i think this has been out for a while but it's the uh first time that it was at my trader joe's so picked that up got some chicken tikka samosas this is what i uh i dipped the uh, tzatziki sauce in that it's so good and then i got some brussels sprouts true belgian brussels sprouts and frozen ones just when you want a little veggie with dinner trying to be healthy and i got some peas some frozen peas for my um my chicken pot pie and some corn. I don't know if I'm gonna put corn in my chicken pot pie this time, but I did grab that, because I just like to have it as a side for dinner. And then some roasted garlic and pesto pizza. Two of those, it's in a different bag. I did a huge haul at Costco today, so we went to like five different grocery stores, so I'm really, really exhausted. <laughs> And then we had run out of this, so I got some maple syrup. It is Vermont maple syrup, dark color and robust taste. Yummy. I finally got the smoked paprika. They've had it at my store, I just didn't, um, I like never picked it up, but I love the packaging, I think it's so pretty. Don't you think this packaging is pretty, Rachel, for the smoked paprika? <laughs> she's got herself on mute so that I could film this video then I picked up one gold potato for my chicken pot pie and I'm using the uh, Trader Joe's puff pastry for the pot pie it's so good and then I got a tomato and basil marinara sauce these are things you just need in your cabinet and then I got a 
raspberry lime sparkling soda you guys know every time i go to trader joe's i have to pick up a sparkling soda oh and i finally got this this is the uh harissa i've never tried harissa actually but a lot of people like it i know my sister um rachel likes it so i'm excited to try that i'll have to have her give me some ideas of what i can use it with and the thing i'm most excited for out of this entire haul i finally got my hands on some more of this pinot grigio it's literally five dollars but when i say it's so 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 good it's literally so good it's like the perfect amount of like lemony limey fruity tartness Ugh. so 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 good so if you guys are in the mood for a five buck chuck try that one out i got two of those because it's just that good and then i have four more bags to go <laughs> Got some time because my aunt likes to use this in her teas. It's really soothing for her like sore throat or just anything. It's just good to have. And then some pepperonis. And then of course I had to pick up some garlic naan. Even though we have some of this in the freezer, it's just good to have. Even if you don't necessarily need to have 10 it's it's actually good to have that many and then picked up some tangerine juice you guys know my aunt is seriously obsessed with this rachel's calling me back and then got some butter lettuce and this is the oh we always pick this up the champ elise's salad mix always so so am i finishing my haul or what <laughs> and then we picked up some sweet cannoli dip we haven't tried this yet but um everybody says that it's really really good and just like a good sweet treat and then of course the avocados on the go and these are good because they don't add anything to it like it's literally just avocado they don't put any of that lime nothing this is so 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 good it just tastes like rachel could you mute yourself sorry um, it just tastes like straight avocado. It's so, so, so good. And then got some chicken fried rice. And actually, the one thing that I didn't pick up today that I usually pick up literally every single time I go to Trader Joe's was orange chicken. I stared right at it and I was like, do I need this? And I didn't end up getting it. I don't know why. And it's such a good thing to have. I really didn't get it. And then, never had this before. It's the linguine with pesto and tomatoes. I just love that Trader Joe's you can just like get a meal like come home from work pop this in the oven or the microwave or whatever and like that's your meal you're done here's that um other pizza and then this is the japjae korean sweet potato glass noodles and vegetable stir fry Okay, I had to take a short intermission and put some stuff away, but I'm back to finish the haul. So the next thing we got were these maple pancake flavored puffs. Um, are these like Bucky's? Someone let me know in the comments if that's what those are. If you know what Bucky's are, then you'll know what those are. And then a ciabatta baguette. These are literally like 99 cents or $1.99 and they're so good and just a good little thing. Fearless flyer. Some of these organic corn chip dippers. I think those are better than Fritos. They've got like such a good crunch to them. And then some maple pecan granola. Of course, some English muffins. I think tomorrow, if you guys wanna, um, I'm not gonna upload it tomorrow, but what I'm gonna do tomorrow is like uh, prep a lot of food. So if you guys wanna watch that video, go ahead and subscribe and give me a like and leave a comment and tell me what in this haul that you liked. And then we got some sea salt cookies. My mom said that these are really, really good. The chocolate chunk cookies. 
And then this is the brownie peanut butter cookie brookie. How good does this look? It's like a, there it goes. sorry it wasn't focused, but it's a brownie peanut butter cookie brookie. <laughs> so brownie on the bottom and peanut butter cookie on the top. And then a dark chocolate cookie cup. Never knows where to focus, but got that. And then some honey lemon cough drops. Some caramel hearts. Two of those. And then these cranberry and herb cough drops. Oh, they're supplement drops. And then some lemons. And then some fresh raspberry jam. Oh, it's raspberry preserves. And then these are fire roasted and diced green chilies. and diced green chilies and I promise I'm almost <laughs> gosh longest haul ever my sister's actually at Trader Joe's right now she just has uh, herself muted so that I could finish my haul and then two of these peanut butter filling wafer cookies my aunt really likes these and then some tingle uh, shampoo, the tea tree kind. I even really likes the body wash of that. And then some face cleaning pads with tea tree oil. Trader Joe's is literally like a one-stop shop. Do I go to other grocery stores? Yes, just for like certain things. But like you can get food and little tea tree drops, even though you can get that at a regular grocery store, you know, Trader Joe's. And then the elderberry and pomegranate apple cider vinegar beverages. Picked up two of these. And of course, some chunky salsa. Staple. Like to have that on hand. Some wintry blend. And this is all from the first uh, Trader Joe's that we went to. We went to another one, but we literally only got like 10 things or five things from there. And then these are maple pancake snaps. So pancake inspired butter cookies with maple syrup, molasses, and cinnamon. These are new, I think. And then some, just a handful of olives, pitted salted manzanilla olives or manzanilla, however you say it. I love their little, whoa. Um, and the ghost snacks, they're so cute. Like these, delicious. I'm gonna get those literally every time I go. And then this is a shea butter and coconut oil hair mask. And this is the Calabrian, Calabrian, Calabrian chili spicy pasta sauce. And I love how affordable Trader Joe's is. Like all of this stuff is like, probably the most expensive thing is like $8. And I think that was the media. And then Rachel, me and Rachel have both had this before. This is actually Rachel's favorite barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's, but we got my aunt to try it. So got that. It's the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce for barbecue. That's good as gold. And now I'm gonna get the bags from our second trip. Here, I got some florals. Okay. So there's this one, and this is a just a filler, a premium filler. But I think it's really, really pretty. And these are John's Wart, St. John's Wart. So pretty. They're like a peachy green color. And then some more filler. And this is called Green Dragon. How pretty is that? And 
And then, you guys, they have these for, um, this is 24 tulips and they had them for $12. 24 freaking tulips for $12. Are you kidding? Absolutely have to take those up. So I'll do like a whole video on, um, a whole video on how to make a bouquet or a flower arrangement. And then we got some bruise balls. And at the other Trader Joe's, they use these plastic bags. But at the normal one that we go to, they use paper. Okay. Last bag from Trader Joe's, my goodness. Another Winter Glen. A sparkling water. More Valentine's uh, cards. These ones are super cute. Life is sweet. Two of those. To the coolest cat lady known. And then this one says, go with the flow. How cute are those? And I'm gonna have a hell of a time putting this stuff away. Man. Okay. And then three, uh, no four, because we ate one on the way. These are the fruits balls, the peanut butter and jelly. How yummy is that? And that's actually it for my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel get seen. And I'll see you guys in the next one.